something a little bit different today, folks, because on the latest vlog, we have a very special guest, and it's not Frankie. Oh, no. Give him a few clues, mate, as to who it is. Well, a bit of celebrity amongst the fishing world. Yeah. Right? He has won Fishermania. Oh, my the God. Final. The final. Right? He is an England feeder team member. Oh. Oh. He's won the World Feeder Championship. World Champion! Yeah. Who is it? I'm going to tell him. It begins with an S. Yeah. The first name. The second name begins with an R. Uh, I reckon everyone's going to guess this now. Well, well not, you know, they're going to have to wait and see who it is. But we're, a celebrity. We want to do some long-range fishing. We've come to Woodsboro Reservoir just outside Barnsley, a um, very iconic venue. Mm. I'm not very good at casting a long way, and I've got a stiff neck this morning. So hopefully our special guest is going to teach us a few things and you can learn a few things along with us. I'm looking forward to seeing you cast with that neck. I think you're going to do the casting, if I'm honest. I think so. Mm. Come on in. Oh, oh, How are you? How are you? Oh, oh, don't bang your head on phone, brother. Are you going on other banks? don't know where we're going. Oh. In the hands of these two bonkers. What do you mean? <laughs> I licked my lens. I licked my lens. You ever been to Woodsboro Reservoir before? Never, mate. I might not be coming back either. <laughs> what do you reckon? Have a look at that. To be fair, it's like it's quite an impressive bit of water. Look at that. It'd be nice to see a fish nice move, wouldn't it? Imagine if you just saw one bosh out now. You can see why it suits the long range approach. But I do reckon if they're out there, we might see one. Now, this had got a lid of ice on it yesterday. Is that going to affect it? It's not going to affect it in a positive <laughs> in a positive <laughs> way but there's a lot apparently there's a lot of bream in it yeah and obviously there's a lot of carp and i always think bream have a chew doesn't matter how cold it is you've got a chance of a bream nice so if someone said to me what we're going to catch i'll be thinking definitely a bream and then a carp could be a bonus but if we can find that ball of carp we could have a good day if you need anyone to chuck your rods really far yeah, I'm, I'm the man. Yeah, speedy's over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nick Speed's here as well, gang. He's up there. Let's go. A few remnants of yesterday's ice there, mate. Always a good sign when you see ice in the margins. <laughs> <laughs> so why this particular spot, Stephen Ringer? Because well, speedy's on the best pegs. <laughs> yeah, he is. I, I don't know, obviously, middle of, if you didn't know a venue, which I've never been here before, never seen it, middle of the lake or widest part, when it's cold and the fish aren't going to want to feed, is always going to be better. We've got the wind off our back, which I think is good in winter. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know in summer you'd want the wind hacking in, but in winter it tends to be a bit of cold wind. Mm -hmm. So I think wind off your back's not a bad thing. It, it'll help with tanks casting as well. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> uh, so, no, wind off your back. And apparently it's slightly shallower on this bank. And I've always felt that, yes, carp in particular like deep water when it's cold. But when you get that ice melt, cold water sinks. Yeah. And even if they are in the deep water, they're going to be off bottom. So in theory, we're on the slightly shallower bank. Ice water will melt. It will sink into that deep water and it might push a few fish our way. Fingers and, crossed. And there's been, I know we, no one wants to see cormorants, but there's been a few cormorants working more this side. Mm, which gross. suggests to me, maybe the fish will just push this way a little bit. And it, this is the warmest part of the lake, which is never, I think widest part, warmest part, we're stacking the odds in our favour. You've got some nice coffees and a flask. Got a topping up latte and uh, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Warm, Frankie? I can't believe how warm it is. <laughs> I, I, might have this, I might have a swim. Honestly, that is the, some of the coldest water I've ever felt, ever. Oh, it's great for, great for fishing then. And I like how you've got a bad neck and I'm doing all the heavy lifting Listen, and putting the gear like the only, heavy, the only sort of heavy thing I'm going to be lifting today is a £15 <laughs> common for a cat shot, kid. Do you reckon we'll catch? <laughs> yeah, I think we'll catch. I just yeah. heard one jump. So cold, that water, man. Honestly. Man up. You're the tank. We're going to catch a load of car. Oh, no. Gone over. Gone over. I have. You're joking. Gone over. <laughs> No. Oh. oh no! What a nightmare! Have you gone over? Yeah. Move That's it back it. a bit. That's it. We're done. Going. Brother, move it back a bit. That's no good. I'm not going over. I'm staying here. I've done as a right little setup here. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like a alien. 
Just one. doesn't it? Go on, the double rod. Two rods for Matt and Tank, one rod for Inga. Well, it's very fair, isn't it? It's number one. What chance has he got? We're number Zs. It's not even a number, it's a letter. What this is like carp fishing and match fishing hybridised, isn't it? This is hard to do. We ain't sitting on box, are we? Oh, we are. If you think I'm standing in this water, you've got another thing coming, brother. Got a lot of these mixed up, kid, haven't you? I have, brother, Anna. What are you doing now, then? I'm just gonna dye a few of these orange. This stuff is it's actually from the carp world. Yeah. It's like a hybrid flavour liquid. Smell that. Stinks. Stinks, doesn't it? It's but like from here. If you have a look at this, it proper dyes your colour. It's like a orangey colour. See it? Oh, yeah. But it smell really, really strong as well. Um, just feel like places like this that do get carp fished a bit. A bit of extra flavour. Very carpy smell. Stinks, that mate. It's smell nice. it. it. Smells very really meaty, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like a sweet meat. Sweet meat. Sweet meat. Are we going to put a bit of sticky stuff on them so that yeah, they... a little bit of sticky stuff. We've got some here. Give it a little squirt on them. It'll just help them stick together, won't it? Does it activate? Yeah. I like it. What pellets are them? Well, they're out. They're right here. So. Try that. I'm not going to lick your finger. You think I'm going to lick your finger? Lick my finger, brother. Right. These are the pellets we're using today. Mainline match, activated course, two mil ones. Mix up. Absolutely beautiful. So have you mixed them, man? I haven't. You have. You did them last night, you All devil. Right. Well, I did them. <laughs> I found a really, really good way of doing it, folks. And it's basically, you put them in like a sandwich bag like that. So I, I'm, I'm, I can't remember how much I did. It was like half a bag. And it mixes up loads, look. But I literally put them in a sandwich bag and then filled the sandwich bag with water and then drained it off until all the pellets were covered. And then, tied a knot in the bag, put them in my fridge. And that's what they come out like. Beautiful, they are. Absolutely lovely. Bit, bit, of, stick, bit of sticky stuff on them and they stick perfectly, look. It's just simple, innit? Break simple. down nice stuff. Lovely. So yeah. And if we don't catch, we'll just go and get some off Steve. Yeah. Oh, Steve, might be coming and get some of ours. Hopefully. Yeah. I like that little trick, sir. I don't think the old uh, Red Devil is going to be doing that, is he? We're going to mix them in or we're going to leave them separate? I don't know. I, should we try I a feel like we should, start? You know, we should do. Yeah, plain, plain to start. To start yeah. And then that's a bit of an impact to try later, but they stink. I think if it's hard, they might work. It's I know what Rooney's done before it passes. It has worked. Places like Bodies is put like three quarters of them in like a yeah. tub and then put an handful of them in so there's an odd and mixed yeah, in yeah bit of smell so let's have a little bit of a mix looks nice that though right we're over on the um enemy camp we need some of them like torture tools that they had in the <laughs> um like roman days or something yeah. i'd rather drown go on what's in it can't tell you Come on, let's. Yeah, let me have a... <laughs> what, can I smell it? That is a secret. You're not going to tell us, are you? You know what I mean? It's a mind game, isn't it? It looks like my hair dye. dye. <laughs> Where's the label? Is that why? You secret sauce. It's, it's too easy. Wrong. Obviously, I can't see what it is because I think it works. Yeah. yeah. But also, if you take the label off, it plays with everyone's, plays with everyone's mind, doesn't it? It's, it's, especially it playing with yours. Especially <laughs> two gullible little <laughs> northerners. But no, it's one of those. It's just a little something that if it's really, really bad. <laughs> Uh, can we put it on today then? And we, you, won't, no, we won't ask you what it is. Is that the royal way or? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can put it on. But you two can't. I oh, like oh. it. Uh, so no, it's just one of them. It's like it's confidence. You've got loads of little tricks that hopefully can get us a bite. But if nothing wants to feed, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and if they're all on the other bank, it won't matter. But it's just a boost to that might get me a bite if we're deep in the mire, which hopefully we won't be. It looks like Barocca in a bottle, doesn't it? You know when you have a Barocca. Like Ian Brew. But the amount of people that see that go, oh, what is it? Because yeah, as soon yeah. as the label's off, yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, Steve has got his own special goo. They, <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they make it for him, but only for him. It's not the same as the shop stuff. Talk me through what's on your side tray then. What are you going to mix with today? Like, what are you going to fish with? It's got, uh, obviously, two mil. Two mil micros. We will be nicking this if he's catching. Ringer's method micros, and okay. then uh, a smatter in a dynamite F1 suite. Okay. Just to give it... The yellow ones in there, you can see the F1 suite. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I've put on, three catfuls of boily crush, but I boost the boily crush with F1 suite. Some people like just get the boily crush and throw it in the pellets. Okay. I want to like, I want to make because because we're not going to be putting any bait in. As in, we're not. Gonna, I'm not going to put ten feeders in and mm. then try and fish over it. 
my hybrid ball, so to speak, has to be as attractive as I can possibly make it. Yeah, yeah. I need as much flavour attraction. So with the boily crush, I basically mix it like a ground bait with F1 Sweet and then add it to my pellets. So I've got like got the attraction of the pellets, two mm. different types. And then the crush is colouring, carrying flavour as well. Brilliant. Plus, obviously, got some goos in the bag. I'm just trying to enhance. You know, when we could be, I'm thinking the first chuck, unless you get one mm. and I'm on the long distance, mm. it's going to last like at least 30 minutes. So I need, I see the, oh, hey, get back. <laughs> <laughs> so I need a maximum attraction. So, and no, you can't have any. <laughs> I will be having some of that. Does look really nice to be fair. Let's hope they like smelly, meaty things because this smells very sweet. Very we've sweet, got, we've got like, a meaty one. Yeah, it's like, I think green light sweet. And I honestly think, I sort of, I know it's not like Barston, but if, if it's really cold at Barston, you can always catch a couple of skimmers mm. if you leave it in long enough. And that's what I feel like. Our best chance at the minute is catch a, if a cart comes along, it's a bonus. That's how I'm looking at it at the minute. Yeah. And if, if we have a red letter day, that'd be brilliant. But having put my hands in the water, I know. I'm not feeling the red letter. But. Secret sauce, can't believe it. First cast of the day, Steve. How important is this for you? It's got a lot more important now you just said that. <laughs> First cast is massive. Uh, it's like, minus the pick, we're only fishing for a few bites. So like, I can't afford five missed chucks, shall we say. Because every time you miss chuck, you're gonna be scaring fish. The fish aren't gonna be feeding, the water's, it's liquid ice. So like, it's gonna be a case of trying to put the feeder in amongst the fish, be fairly stealthy. Right. And hopefully that eventually one will drop down and pick it up. So. How far are you gonna to go to start with then? You've never seen this venue ever before in your life. Obviously I'm interested to know where you're gonna chuck them, why? See, if this was a match, obviously a little bit of local info, Speedy says sort of 60 to 80 meters is the norm, yeah? I'd be thinking, I've gone 70 meters, clipped up at 70 meters. Yeah. I'm thinking an hour at 70 to 80 meters. And then if literally, I'd be keeping an eye out, looking around. If no one's caught anything, I'll get Big Bertha out, which is the 14 foot Aventus. Yeah. And I'd blast it like 9,500 and just sit on it. On the right. basis then, got my own bit of water. There's nothing being caught. Got more chance of a bite out on my own, if you know what I mean. Got ya, got ya. So starting at 70 then, yeah. get, get your feeder out there, because we can have a look at what you've got on your feeder and that once we're fishing. We need to get these rods in. Yeah. But because it's first chuck, obviously I want to learn a bit from you today. I don't do a lot of this distance fishing. Um, tell me about the actual technique for getting your feeder out to them distances. 70 metres is a long way, mate. I've never fished that far in a match myself ever before. Yeah, we'll, we'll basically we'll do a kit, obviously, once it's out. Yeah. Uh, talk about like, but like... The secret to casting it just be positive be positive and it's about hand speed so like if you're a right hander like i am a lot of people think god really throw your right hand hard mm. but your rod speed comes from pulling with your left got you so basically like if you throw your right shoulder at it you're not gaining anything you all your speed comes from having your your uh, hand at the bottom of the handle yeah and pulling hard with your left hand so go on give us a little demo i'll get some nice sexy wide shots later folks but this here is obviously important part to be obviously watching you need a decent drop as well if you wind it up like that you're not compressing the rod right so like you need a decent drop what you got there meter and a yeah. meter and a half the ball obviously needs to make you need to make sure the ball's nice and you need to your pellets need to be right because you've got to put it on hard because otherwise it will smash got you on on the cast so, yeah, I reckon just about half the rod, I reckon. Yeah. Maybe it's slightly bit less. And then it's literally like, depending on how far you want to go, but like 70 isn't a huge chuck. Like you can do it in all one motion. So nice and smooth and then maximum hand speed. So like that's nearly took the clip off. Wow. That you could have chucked that, that an awful a awful lot further, yeah. wouldn't yeah. you? It's also gone in like a sack of spanners now because I've given it too much. Are you going to recast yeah. it? There you go. That's what I would say as well. That was that would have been a lovely chuck at about 95. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to make sure it hit the clip on camera. Got you. Uh, Good but, though. But little moral of that story is, you know, if you chuck it badly, mm. don't leave it. Yeah. If you're going to be chucking it half an hour at a time, I think some part, sometimes people are embarrassed and they think, oh, just leave it in so yeah, no that one went sees. In like, you know, I mean, Tank's face was like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I think we're going to win. <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a job. It was, but I want you to demonstrate the hand speed. Gone 100, it would have gone 100, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, load it back up. 
good good to see you do that though mate yeah, for people you can't, obviously i can't physically even like today when all oh, right it's not a it's not a massively serious match but it is unless i get beat biggest day of our lives oh. today tank isn't it I'm flexing. uh i've got to be fishing i've got to know that it's fishing properly yeah you know what i mean so if you do chuck it badly i don't know and i know we don't want i just whack lyrical about not having a million chucks still got to be fishing properly yes and like that smashed the clip but obviously i smashed it far too hard just yeah. trying to uh, show how much hand you, speed you could you see the hand speed though i got a mid shot of that and the the yeah. way you pull in i honestly think that's good to put 70 it definitely would have gone 90 if not 100. wow so what are you looking for steve like a plot yeah hopefully we might see it this joke go on get yeah. it get it in brother they can have another look at this take a bit off it now it's not forming out there to slow it down a bit that's better there oh. you go that was the plot Deary. yeah lovely see i know now that that's hit as hit as one whereas yes. before because obviously i hit the clip so hard it's come out the sky at 100 mile an hour and just slammed in yes whereas not that, all your bait off yeah oh uh, not all. it probably not all the bait i've just gone in horrible mm. whereas that's gone in lovely in my head it's now it on the bottom and it's just starting to break down like it what i'm going to do always do as well because i like to fish on new water so i literally just take the clip off Clip up, take a meter off. So next chuck, I'm just going a little bit further. So I'll be chasing them out if it goes. Ah. I don't believe you're going to build a swim as such. Nice tip. So literally, you're creeping. Oh, stopwatch on. Yeah, would be. Hasn't been used for a while. Seized up. It's got right, Nick. There we go. Tell you what is interesting, mate, as well. Obviously, people. Oh talk about having three four five hundred quid rods to cast a long way it's nice to see today obviously we're using like the 12 foot hand grade it's only 150 160 quid rod if you're obviously aventus is flagship yeah you know i mean like if i was at boddington trying to whack it 100 plus then i'd have a 14 foot aventus but if you're on a budget the 12 foot hand gauge you know i mean i can i'm pretty confident we might have it we'll probably have a go later but I'm pretty confident you hit 90 to 100 on it, which is, that's a big chuck in anyone's book. Yes. I don't care what anyone says, anything over 100 is huge. I've never fished 100 metres no. in my life. You know what I mean? I think you could probably do it. Conditions are good today. Ready? Do I go slightly left? Am yeah. I ready? I'm born ready. Stiff neck cast. Go on, stiff neck cast. Go on. What is this, 70? 70 metres. Right, we'll go back a tiny I've bit. never cast 70 metres ever. Don't lie. I haven't. Oh, go on then, get her out there. First shot. Buy it clip. It, it nearly pulled my arm off. Piece of cake that distance game, isn't it? Are you doing the Steve Ringer meter clip? Yeah. Trick. Well, he showed us all tricks. Would we be foolish not to <laughs> copy him or what? Just copy him. We've got the don of this kind of fishing with us today. I'm not too proud. I am going to literally copy everything he does. Right, so that's the uh, 14 foot event. That's a big bertha. I'm going to chuck this one out right now. Steve's there, shaking in his boots. Shaking like a <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly right for this one, yeah? Slide on, didn't it? 70 metres. I'm going to get a nice shot of you casting into the sun. Oh, lovely plot. Now what, baby? Happy with that? Yeah, really nice. Should we do the, um, I'm doing the meter trick. So what's the meter trick? Well, unclip. When you hit your clip, yeah. you take it off your line clip and put a meter on your line so you're always in fresh water. It's what I do all the time. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I told Steve Ringer. Did you? Yeah. Right, let's have some breakfast. Go on the double rod. I feel like a specimen hunter. Oh, we ain't got a stopwatch. Haven't you got a stopwatch in your box? I'll do it on my phone. Oh, I have got a stopwatch. Do not drop that in. All right. It's the only stopwatch I have. Do not drop it in. And you're likely to drop that in. Listen, I've not got time to drop a stopwatch in. They both went in beautifully. Got birds queuing up for you there, kid, aren't you? Yeah, mate, yep. Yeah. Stiff neck's getting worse. Is it? Mm. 
Tell you what, this long chuck game's no good. It's boring, mate. I don't know how they all do it at Boddington, <laughs> that, mate, honestly. I'd get <laughs> really, really fat if I went there because I'd just eat uh, the biggest pack up in the world ever. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, let's go around. I'm going to eat some pellets in a minute. <laughs> it's boring, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite boring to be fair. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing. Thought this a few times on vlogs recently, but a few hours to go. Don't think this one is going to be a gower. Could be a write off. Not to be negative. Matt's got a little song for everyone. We're soaring, flying. There's not a cop in Worsbury that we can reach. With our hybrids, we're gonna catch them all. High School Musical, Zac Efron, similar sort of body sort of figure and looks to me. Going to get us a bite, that little sing-song tank. I like it, mate. Good skills. Fifty-one minutes. Any updates, Matt? No bites. You know when you start a day and you're, like, super enthusiastic? Yeah. And then you stand with your feet in water for 51 minutes. Yeah. Looking at two yellow tips. Yeah. Nothing happens. How do you feel? Need a coffee. Mm. The only positive, we all ain't caught, but we, that's not a positive. We want some fish. <sighs> we need to make some tactical decisions, Francesco. Well, we were just both saying, weren't we? No, both of them have gone in the exact same spot. Right, as in distance. Yeah, 150 metres. 150 on the dot. Right, they've both gone to what, 70 metres? 70 metres. I think, we both think, keep that one to like 70. The engage rod. Engage Shorter rod. Shorter one. And then Bertha, we're going to launch. And we're going to try and find them out. Oh! We just had an indication, I'm not even kidding. Unless it's a bird. No. Oh! Liner! Big liner! Steve, That's a liner! Steve, We've big got a liner. liner! I swear to God! Yeah. On camera! Which one? Left hand rod! That was a fish liner. A, f a fish liner. That's what he did earlier! That was. It might have been a fish earlier. I thought it were a bird. It's no, slow as well. No it was really slow. Not just winding a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Keep, we're going to bag up! <laughs> we're going to empty it! <laughs> to be fair, the problem is you're not watching. Obviously, I haven't really been watching my tip. Well, we haven't until we've done this filming. That. That were definitely a fish. If it, if it was slow, it'd have to be a fish. Yeah, definitely Can't a fish. Be a, if, it's, if it's quick, then it would be a bird. We're yeah, going to catch no loads. There's we're no going to catch loads. There's no birds. I know there's normally a lot of birds around when I'm here, but <laughs> there's none at this point. <laughs> oh, that were right. a million percent Defi a Carolina, wasn't it? Got it on camera. Big liner. Yeah. yeah. We're going to catch loads. Put some bait in quick. <laughs> You've done this video a few times, but I think that you are so technical with it. We've got to run through it, Steve. Loading the hybrid. Obviously, yeah, loads of people have seen me do it, but there's always I'm always looking for edges, and how I load it depends how often I'm going to cast in. For instance, if I'm chucking every three minutes, I load it what I call quite loose because mm -hmm. I want a fast breakdown. But today, I'm not expecting many bites. There's still ice up, up there in the edge. It's a case of... I might be chucking it for over an hour. Mm. And if I'm going to chuck it for over an hour, I've got to believe that there's some bait around it. Show us what you mean then, mate. So, first layer. I'm literally putting them on. Like, you, cement. You're gritting yeah, your teeth Yeah, I'm getting my teeth because that first layer, I want it to, I don't care if that stays on. Yeah. So it's literally like, make, I'm pretty much, if you look at that, I've turned it into a paste. Yeah, it's literally pasted into the bottom yeah, of the Yeah, now, I wouldn't do this if I was fishing, like, up to an island in the summer trying to catch loads of fish, but I'm trying to catch one fish. Mm. So I need to know that I can leave it out an hour and there's always going to be some bait around my feeder. Got ya. So, first layer, I'm really heavy. And then there's different ways you can do with goo. You can double goo, single goo. If I'm going to leave it out a long time, I want what I call a slower release of goo. Okay. So what I'll do is, little blob, 
which flavour you use is personal, that's peach, I've got pineapple on here, I've got some others in my bag. But go with what you're confident in. Right. You don't need a lot either. So goo, little blob of goo. I like to, I like to drag, don't know why, I like to drag my hook bait into it. I always like to make sure my hook's side on. Yeah. I don't want it point up, because otherwise when I'm loading it now, I could force a micro onto the point. Yeah. And what I don't want to do is force a micro on, and then obviously that could stop me getting hooked up. Yeah, so, mask the point. Yeah, I don't want to mask the point. So make sure the hook's flat, then another layer. And then it depends. My attitude is if I'm going to leave it a long time, you could have what I call a skinny ball. That's quite a skinny one. But because I'm going to leave it a long time, I want a bit more traction. So I just build it up a little bit. So it's quite a big ball on the basis. An odd roach might nip in, an yeah. odd little skimmer. Just want to make sure there's some bait there. But then just neaten it off. And if you want, if you want to, you can add another dab, obviously, of goo on the top. Yeah. What I'd say is if you're going to add another dab of goo, it's going to get messy now. But obviously, a little dab of goo on top. Don't chuck it like that. You need to get your hand dirty. Squeeze it in. Right. If you chuck it like before, obviously it's all over my hand now, but if you chuck it before you squeeze it, it just comes off on the surface. Right. So, so that'll get down a little bit and release that. Get it down, yeah. Flavor. And obviously I've got double goo there, so get a little bit initially. Yeah. But then the second lot's like sealed in. Yeah. So then I get maybe in 20 minutes, half hour, once it's been out there, a second lot like release. I like it. The, the, way I'm, the way I look at it is that's my, I'm chucking that out into the abyss. Yeah. Got to maximise every little edge I can get in terms of attraction. So like putting my pellets on hard, double goo, hook bait in the right position, bright hook bait so it's visual, bit of extra bait. Trying to stack the odds in my favour. Yes, even in that one little thing loading the hybrid, there's lots of little 1%. Yeah, there. and we're only fishing for one bite and that's not everyone's cup of tea, but on a cold day, sometimes it's a massive sense of achievement from getting one bite when you think everything's stacked against you. Yeah. Excuse me. No problem. Should I eat it then? Oh, that's on that. Am I having it? Mm, give it a second. Let's see if it develops. <laughs> now I feel like I need to recast it. I'll give it 30 seconds. You might as well wind it in if it's on. It's on, but it's not. Uh, it's not. I just don't think there's going to be much excitement on the end of the rod. No. I love it how we all gathered around. <laughs> Desperate times. Not even sure it's on now. No. I think it'd still be moving. I wonder if it wasn't even big enough to get the wafter in its mouth. Oh, it, it, it's still there, it's still there. Have it now, have it. Have it, have it! Yes! yes! <laughs> Pick up. It's a good breed. It's, it's a, breed. a massive breed. <laughs> Yeah. It only feels really small. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like when I picked up it, we're like, oh, 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 oh nodder. Pounder, isn't it? You think it's a pound? Yeah, pounder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pound. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. Do you need the big net? Yeah, get the big net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good sign, though. Hey. Hey. Feeding, aren't they? Feed. Oh. Careful. Oh, 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 he's fighting. This is bigger than we think. Than nah, we then, this is a monster. <laughs> I'm not sure we'll get it in this net. <laughs> Whoa, look at him. Oh, is it nice then? Don't let it flat rod you. <laughs> Battle to the death with Wars of the Oh, look at that. Oh, he's all right. Come on, Steve. Be careful. Reach in, reach. I, I, don't, I don't want to stab it. Yet. <laughs> Steve, come on, reach out, reach out. Yay! <laughs> Blank avoided. I thought I was going to have two in a week. It's not a bad, eh? Two pounder. There's obviously a lot of food in there. It's a one bream. Yeah, easy two pound. Oh, well done. Have a look at this tank. That's what you call patience. Yeah, that's what you call boring a fish on. One hour, 47 yeah. minutes. Yeah, nice bream, isn't it? You have a bream. <laughs> no, I don't. Matthew does. Well, so let's get this. Right down the middle. Come on then, love. Let's get it back. Get it back. Thank you for making my hands ridiculously cold. Mr. Breen. Blank saver. Bit of techers from you now, Steve. Hook baits, hook lengths, and presentation at what? To talk to me about that. Right. First things first, four inch hook length. Yeah. 019 N gauge. It's nice and supple, it's quite soft. It's a copolymer, quite soft, gives me a bit of movement. One thing I will say is, 
obviously we haven't really taught feeders etc it's for using a 45 gram hybrid mm -hmm. long x safe stem i'll prefer the speed stems because if you can see there it gives the loop movement yeah if i have to double loop my hook length on it becomes fixed so my, so the way i see it if your hook if your hook length's fixed as your wafter breaks free or whatever you got it gets pulled over that way yeah because the speed stem because with the speed stem i've just got my loop in there it just gives it more movement and it keeps the hook bait closer to the ball got yeah and obviously the speed stem gives you the benefit of quick changing your hook lengths should you need to more movement yeah so is for that the black elastic steve in that one yeah black for you know if you're carping it's black obviously yeah. if, I was, if i was fishing for skimmers and bream probably go to white but most of my fishing is done long stem as well if you're chucking a long way yeah. you need the long stem why is that it's just stability in flight and it also helps you cut through the air got you so if you want to be accurate and you want to fish at range you've got to use basically the longer stem if you use the short stem when you really push the feeder as in like today we're really walloping it you get a lot of wobble right so you want the long black stem so four four inch 019 n gauge size 10 qm1 hook i've just tied that with not this knot yeah and then i've got a little guru bayonet i like the guru ones because they're light i don't want a really heavy bayonet that stops the wafter behaving properly go on then show, show us what you mean by that then so like what i want is obviously six mil wafter yeah you know i mean i don't always use a six mil but today my attitude's been we're fishing for a bite mm. uh and i don't really care what the bite's from even if it's a bream we're going to be happy aren't we yeah <laughs> and what i'd also say is some of my biggest carp have come on little baits. Right. Everyone tends to think big carp, big baits. But little six mil, little six mil. Fluoro pink is a great colour. Just push the wafter in like so. Keep pushing it in. Important to leave the, the ring of the, uh, the bayonet clear. Because that obviously gives it the movement. Because that's in the loop. Got, yeah. Yeah. So the little loop is at the back of your knot yeah. here and that makes your bayonet move about. Yes. If, it, if obviously if the bayonet's fixed, then for the wafter to waft, the whole hook has to come up. Yes. This way, I've obviously got the little tub of water. This probably won't. This would probably be a disaster now. Oh, look at that. Right, hook flat, wafter up. So yep. if you imagine that sat in amongst some pellets, wafter's up, hook's flat. And I believe, and my hook hold suggests that I'm right. Yes. That when the hook's flat, it turns quicker. Got yeah. So most of my fish are always hooked in the bottom lip. Yeah. Which is where you want them. And I'm not saying no fish get away with it because we all get mugged off occasionally. But I believe for me that is the ultimate in wafter presentation. I like it. Thank you, mate. Lots of little things there that you uh, pay attention to. Yeah, and what I would say is if you're only fishing for like one bite like I think we are today, you need to know when that fish sucks it up and mm. it's going to be up properly. Yes. You go on. Go on. Up. It looks like it. Go on. Two hours, nine minutes. No. That is a car. It's a car. I think it's a brain. I'm it's telling you it's now. It's a car. That's a car. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's supposed to be stuck on something. He's coming now. That's a car. No, Definitely. It's stuck on something. It is. Take your time with it. Or... <laughs> Listen. How do you feel? You was you was being Mr. Negative not, then, weren't I've you? Said all day. It's gonna be a window late on. <laughs> no, you didn't. I don't know what it is? It feels a bit weird. It's a carp. Just not doing anything. It's a big cold carp. How big did the bring go? Eight pound? That's not a big bream, it's a carp. It's been out literally, it's been out over two hours. <laughs> Have you ever caught a fish? No, I've never left a cast in that long. It's only because Tank wanted to do that I left up, oh, yeah. Well, just bump there. It's not a big carp, but it could be a carp. Listen. It's carp, yeah. It's winning now. Yes, it's a carp! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh. oh, that was, it's the hardest fighting bream ever. Big hybrid. Just to the right of the stick. Was it? Yeah. But it's been out two, two and a bit hours. Just shows though, mate. Confidence. Yeah, that that said, must give you confidence. That yeah, to but leave I said it. Tank on, there's nothing feeding. So I don't believe every time I've reeled in that anything's been eaten. No. That's frightening, mate. Absolutely frightening. Well done. I haven't got it yet. What colour up, mate? 
This one's on a fluo pink, six mil. 10 QM, so it better not come off. Tank, you're on netting duty, brother. Tank, don't stab at it. Don't stab, I'll net it. Yeah. We don't want any Marlborough Mere action going on here. Imagine if I spend that X out. <laughs> you seeing you? I'll just rag up. <laughs> How's your confidence now, Steve? We'll get another, get a few now, hey, yeah? Steve, tell you what, I don't know if this net's big enough. Not that big. <laughs> you, got, you got the uh, Woods Bridge I just want to finish on the fish, so this will do for me if I can get it out. <laughs> We're beeping yeah. when we got that bream, wasn't it? Sorry, we missed the bite, folks. So annoying. Ooh, oh, shot, shot leader's, leader's coming. Oh, is it just here, just here. Oh, it's not big. It's a nice fish. Steve, it doesn't matter today. Right. He oh, he's a oh. cracking fish. Come on, come on. I don't want to stab at it. <laughs> stab it. Yes! Give us a slide, brother. Well done. Slide, slide on, brother. On, brother. That's, awesome. epic. Long, that's the longest day that ever. That's a beautiful fish. To be fish. Wow! You fully did, scaled. Wow. You did say they were good looking, didn't you? That's worth the wait, isn't it? Yeah, to fair be fair, wow. I didn't. I, I'll admit, I didn't think we were going to get one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, worth it. That, yeah, to be fair, because I didn't think that, they're beautiful looking. Aren't they? Wow! That is stunning. Just nicked him. His bottom lip, bottom corner. Wasn't, oh, wasn't, wasn't coming off. Oh, much well done, boys. Brilliant. People don't realise how much of a doomer we've been on, do they? There's been some peaks and troughs. <laughs> a trough in this last two hours. But. Yes! Just shows you, I said like that last hour could be really good when it got really cold. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Isn't yeah, it, to be yeah. fair? Listen, I think we should get this one and all, to the mm. serious note, get that feeder back in the same spot because yeah. it could be a little winder. Got an, yeah. We've got one Next bite should be at 10 to 6. Perfect. <laughs> you got your head torch. Nailed him, haven't you? Hey? Told you. Told Gotta you. believe, like me. Yo, you've been down all day. What a beauty, mate. First, it's all about confidence. First was Ricard. How can I get another now? Yeah? You happy? It, yeah, I am, to be fair. Because I was fearing uh, my debut on the vlog was going to end in a <laughs> disaster. But, got to believe. You nailed it, mate. It's what you do. Another one. <laughs> Is it a carp? Is that on the it's big on chuck the, rod? The sleeper rod. I just literally walked up to it and it had all dropped back. Could be a bream. Fucking breamy, that. It is looking bream, eh? It's not kicked or anything yet. Maybe it's a great big one that's swimming towards us. Could be. If it's a carp, it's a little one, but again. Hey, boys, it's a fish. A fish. Time boys, of, we got a fish. Time of day, I reckon bream. But yeah. I, think it's a, I think it's a bigger bream than your bream. It doesn't matter, mate. Mine's two, bigger than yours. two bream will do us. And I'll tell you, it's definitely bigger than tank. So I've had a bream. <laughs> I'm currently... On zero. <laughs> you have a bream. Yeah, I think it's a bream. Listen, you can't shine in every vlog. It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you can you. only dream of a bream. I will dream of bream tonight. I'll happily net your bream too. But again, that's been out there probably like nearly an hour. Wow. Probably more. Yeah. I can see it on top, though. Yeah, it's a bream, isn't it? A bit disappointed with a bream now. It don't matter. Hey, fish is a fish today. No, I you know, have zero. Hey, there's still time for a carp, lads. Yeah. There's still time for a carp. I feel like, that, you know, like, you go from, like, that pit of despair. I feel like you could get a bite at any time now. Yes. Well, I've had a bream. Oh, You've had a bream. He's a, oh, a, a good bream. And the hybrids are looking really good. Yes. Go on, the breams. <laughs> you know when you chucked it though, I just thought he's never given that enough. Yeah. <laughs> fair play. Fair play. That's a that's a long way, isn't it? Put you back into it that time. 
What's happened? Right, don't tell me yet. Let me get close. This is interesting. Not interesting. What happened, Stephen? I love that feeder as well. Look. A duck's flown through my line, and uh, we haven't got anything on the end. <laughs> That's it. Disappointing. <laughs> and that, was one of my, that was one of my favourite feeders. You look so gutted. I'm gutted. <laughs> I lost one of them feeders the other day. In fact, like quite. Oh. Oh well. Oh mate. Thanks, duck. <laughs> I thought I'd either got a carp or a duck, and it was a duck. Happened to the best of them. Got him? Carp? carp. Mm. If you've got a carp on my rod... Bream that. It's a good bream now, that. Good bream. Whoa, we've got one. Thank you, he's got one. Give us a slide, brother. Wow. <laughs> Look at my hand, it's got that much flavour on. The Activate, goo. Oh. Ooh. Never is that a carp? Is it, might, it a carp? I think it might be a carp. No, you're joking, man. No, Get my landing net for you. Tell you what, it's absolutely brilliant. What a great venue. I was just falling asleep then. I'm looking at me fucking. You know what? I actually chucked this one as well. You did? That's mm. karma, mate. You deserve this fish. You've. Tell you what's going to happen now, yours is going to go while you're playing this and I'm going to get a carp on your that, rod. That would be the um, icing on the cake. I tell you what, it doesn't have to seem a mile away, even though it's 70 metres, but you know when you wind them in? Yeah. You know when you used to like... Got a nice softish playing action though for like a power rod, that and it. a power rod, it's not a, It's got so much like grunt here, but in that top bit it's still got enough action. Yeah, you're not going to bump skimmers no. off and stuff, are you? Oh. No, it's no. a bream, mate. No. Bream, bream, bream. 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 Steve actually used this rod at Ferry Meadows. I did, yeah. Big bream. Yeah, we did that bite size, didn't we? It's only for a 60 metre Ferry Meadows rod. I think it's a nice bream now. I think this is going to be the biggest bream at day, brother. Ooh, he's a no Ooh, nodding dog. Remember dog. nodding dogs? I think that left one's going to go with the calf, I really do. I do. That has been out. I'll be able to pick that up. It's been out for like two hours now. I reckon this is biggest bream at day. Look at him, he's a good one well, tank. Well, yeah. Go on, baby. Oh, oh so wow. I'm here, it. Bang. <laughs> hey, nice one. Well Slide done, on, boys. Oh. We'd have took that four hours ago. Yeah, we would have done. <laughs> yeah, still time for a calf as well. That one calf would be lovely now in this line. Oh, it would be brilliant. Imagine if we got Pretty a calf like now. <laughs> Go on, the bream. Go on, the bream. You're good in, isn't it? Woo. That's a long way out, that. Right. Thank you should have this. You've been casting this all day. That's been out. Are you sure? Yeah, no, mate. You, you've you been casting it. Keep it tight. Right. I you, think it's a carp. I reckon that's been out for two and a half hours easy. <laughs> Are you trying to outdo my boy? It, it will have done, Steve. Honestly, I left it out ages because you caught yours. It's come to life, hasn't it? It's unbelievable that... Uh, Three o'clock, uh, the yeah. world was about to end. You were looking doom and gloom, I'm not gonna lie. Steve were back down M1. Even Matt looked disappointed at three o'clock. Is he close? Yeah, he is, yeah. Hell of a bite, that. Tell you what, we've done really good here. This were a write off two hours oh. ago. Don't get yeah, flat rodded. Yeah, flat, Matt, will you lift your rod up? Sorry, Did it come underneath me? Oh, it's got many tough. Come on, get under there, brother. Look at that. Come up one curl one. Oh, got our videographer on the go. Go on, Stephen. You still press record, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Keep blocking, Rush. It's time of day, isn't it, eh? Unbelievable how long that's been out as well. So long. Do you find that in the cold though, Steve? There's can do, but obviously there. in a match it's a risk to leave it two hours, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe we need to do it a bit more. It's a bit ballsy in the middle of a match. Oh yeah. Leaving it for two hours. Weird. You don't feel a massive fish, no. does it? Fighting jaggy like foul up, but Oh, 
It's amazing how much lighter the phone makes it look. I know. Really dark. I know. Yeah, I there he is. Oh, a common. Common. Oh, but... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, slide on, brother. Hold on, brother. Slide on. Hold on, Steve. Cheers. I've got a new job, haven't I? Yeah. He's gorgeous. Look at him, Steve. Look at yeah. him. He is stunning. Oh, wow. How nice look are the that. fish here? Yeah. They are mint fish. What a beauty. Do you have a look at your hook hold? Thanks. Let's like, see if it passes the Steve Ringer hook test. Is that passing, Steve? Yeah, anything anywhere towards the bottom. Middle of the bottom lip would have been perfect, but <laughs> seven out of ten. Right, thanks, mate. Wow. Worth the wait, Look tank. at that. Gorgeous. What a stunner. How cool are the fish in Wusbra? Unreal. Just shows, isn't it, patience, job. Literally, folks, Ooh. the phone is not doing it justice. It is very, very dark right very, now. Very dark. And um, a couple of hours ago, we were literally thinking this was going to be a write-off. Happy tank. Very happy. Stunning little common, that, innit? Look at those whiskers on them. Whiskers. Gorgeous fish. Absolute stunners. Cracker. Here's a slide, brother. Slide on, brothers. And sisters. Slip her back, brother. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Stunner. What a day. Yeah. What an afternoon. Oh, lovely. Time for another one yet, Mr. Ringer? I reckon we've got one more in us. Reckon? Yeah. Might be a bream though. <laughs> so I reckon one more bite. Isn't it amazing how confidence changes? Is that, but you're only one bite away from glory. I said that earlier. <laughs> but, but also you're one bite away. From, you're nothing. Without the bite, you're in despair. Yeah. As soon as you get one bite, you feel like the rock could go we've any second. We've been so lucky recently. Aren't we? we have. We've got away on a few vlogs recently. If, if you'd have said to me at three o'clock, we we're going to have two carp and like three or four skimmers and bream, I just said, don't be so stupid. <laughs> but we all were then. No one had. No. You were giving up feeder fishing. Yeah. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, one rod goes round and the whole world, the world's a better place. Yeah, feeder fishing's great. Wasbra's heaven. Ven what a venue. We said it from the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cold. He's chucking a long way. He's a, yeah, one of the, this sums it up, folks. There's been a local lad just turn up here. He's, a long way up. he's casting very, very far and he's just chucked out and had one. But he didn't get here till about quarter past three. So he knew, he said, venue switches on at three and we arrived at, nine, at nine o'clock. What? Left hand rod, is yeah. that an indication? I think it's coming back on the bow. Oh. oh. That other on, bike Steve, was a proper... Say it where I've lied. Come on, creative just, just, license, Steve. Just, just lie to me, Steve, lie to me. I can't do it, it's not <laughs> in my nature. <laughs> three. Yeah. The moon is out. Struggling to focus. Anyone got the landing net? <laughs> Where is the landing net? I think you've packed it away, haven't you? No. Where is it, Matt? I it. <laughs> Have you? I'll hand it. We can't hand one. Anymore. Go <laughs> set an handle up. I'll hand, I'll hand it. You sure. Yeah. If it was a carp, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. Oh, what a disappointment. I, oh, thought, I thought that were it. I thought, just saying that, we can't moan, can we, after no. today? It is. Well, the, even the phone's not lying now. It looks pitch black, like super black. It has gone dark. Yeah, now, yeah. Very... To be fair, it's doing Matt a right favour. Yeah, can't see his face. Totally blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Steve. <laughs> what a day. Oh. What a day. Never give up. Never give up. You Never surrender. I feel like you did give up, though, Matt. I yeah. did give up. You did trough. Yeah, tro that's the most troughing I reckon yeah. you've ever seen, yeah. Matt. Yeah. And now you've turned into a feeder god. Oh, mate, feeder fishing's the best fish in the world. <laughs> that is oh, a, well, long a long out. way out. Yeah. <laughs> Left hand rod. Tune in next week for the landing <laughs> of the bream. Here we are, I've heard a leader. Oh, yeah. I heard a leader. Oh, oh, battle to the death. Battle to the death. That feeder comes out and hits me in the face. Three pound roach. Wow, big roach. Thanks, Akeem. Funny a skimmer. Baby skimmer. Oh. Trout fishing days are coming in handy there, Steve, aren't there they? There we go. Yeah. Healthy old fish, though. Oh, they are. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect hook on Matt. Is it? Perfect, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that, 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 that one definitely is. <laughs> oh, fish what a lovely fish. Fish to finish. Fish to finish, yeah. Get this back out, lad, yeah? Yeah, no. go on. <laughs> ah. Is that back? Yeah, get it back. Well done, boys. Reconvene at the van. Well, we're saying then, boys, what do you reckon to that for a session? It's pitch black now. Think... Massive success for me. <laughs> Steve? I think it just goes to show that we'd all... I think we'll all be honest and say we all gave up. Yeah. yeah. Million percent. I would done and dusted. Feeder fishing, not, no go for Matt anymore. 
Um, what about them bite times we how long we had the feeder in the water? I think mm. that surprised you even, didn't it? Yeah, I've always believed that you, you maximum amount, you can't have too many casts, and I think that's shown today, mm. but equally you've got to almost say, right, where's my best spot to pick for a car? Mm. Like today it was probably as far as you could possibly chuck. And once you get it there and you're happy with it landing, just leave it there until one finds it. Well, yours were two, two hours, hours, nine minutes. And how long were your car? More, two and a half hours. Two and a half mm, hours. Easily. Absolutely crackers. Um, mm. Hope you've enjoyed it, folks. Steve, thank you for coming on. No problem. Loved it. Learnt loads as well. Yeah, feel I feel like I can cast a little bit further now. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, folks, don't forget to like and subscribe. So when we do videos like this, you get a little update. Happy boys. Always. Slide on. Slide on. Slide on, Steve. Slide on. Slide on, Steve. <laughs> Slide on. <laughs> <laughs>